I'm six foot five, 230 pounds. Look how big these headphones are. They make me look like a baby over here. Yo, you can't say this ain't sweet. Come on. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my home studio. This is your boy Archie Beats and today we have us a studio haul. So here's the word. I decided that I needed some new gear and I've never done a studio haul on this channel. There's been times where y'all I purchased so much gear and I had all these boxes and I didn't share it with you guys and I really regretted it from the Apollo to my U87 when I first purchased those things man and I want you guys to be really a part of my journey in a personal way because you guys are my audio friends, y'all my YouTube friends, y'all my friends man that's what it is but before we get started if you guys are interested in anything that you've seen in my home studio or here at our studio radio music be sure to click below because I am an Amazon influencer and I have everything listed on there that can possibly help you on your creative journey don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss another video and so I needed a few things first of all I realized that I left all of my clothes back headphones well most of them out at my studio radio in LA and you guys know at my studio radio in LA we have a booth we have a lot of sc um sound reflection filters i have two generations of the sc reflection filters and i want to try something new so i went and grabbed that halo from aston microphones and man i'm excited about it i heard so many great things about it i see so many professional engineers that use it that don't have a booth it seems like a pretty good situation to get into so that's what i went for man and i got that and i also got the at2020 since that was the first microphone i recorded on you guys have shown so much love my budget microphone video is at 400,000 views, almost a half a million. You guys really came through. I basically um, purchased the AT2020 to bring back those old memories since it was the first microphone that I actually worked on and I actually got a record on radio from. Like I said, you guys been showing so much love. And also, you guys know you need microphone cables. When you purchase a microphone, you have to get a great cable or the microphone is not gonna perform like it should. You wanna get all the accessories with it. I have plenty of makeshift shock mounts. I have plenty of microphone stand so i already have a lot of accessories but i wanted to get an extra mogami cable since mogamis have been so nice to me really clean cables really shielded cables awesome quality and they last a very long time every mogami cable i bought 10 years ago is still in my studio and it still look brand new and nowhere in town and man virtually nowhere in town and like i said i left all of my headphones out in la my closed back headphones well with the exception of one closed back and one open my hd 600 sennheiser which are my open backs and my um, focal listen pros which are my clothes back and since I have a few vocalists coming through hey I need to have some clothes back headphones because you don't want your headphones bleeding into your recording and plus I'll be sitting in the same room so I don't want my headphones bleeding into their recording because I don't listen to things loud but you just never know when you have that sensitive preamp turned all the way up and that sensitive nice normal U87 behind me turned up hey you're gonna get some bleed so you want to get some close back headphones when you're recording vocals for sure so here's pretty much the new gear that i purchased of course like i said you need a mogami cable because when it comes to cables hey it really dictates the quality of your recording and you want to get some also that lasts a long time because cables can get really expensive over time there's no reason to be spending hundreds of dollars on cables especially when you have a setup like mine with synthesizers, keyboards, sound modules, preamps, audio interfaces, microphones, monitors. You can set up a lot of stuff, but cables can get really expensive, especially if you're constantly replacing them. So take the 30, 40 bucks or 50 bucks, however much the cable costs and just invest in it and it'll last a really long time. My cables last 10 years currently and they still look brand new. I do have cheap cables that came with some of the stuff I purchased and trust me, they are in the graveyard right now. They're over with. So yeah, my Mogami Gold cables, I don't get any anything other than Mogami Gold. Something else comes up, you guys have some suggestions, make sure you comment below because Mogami right now are my babies. And the next thing is the AT2020. You guys know I talk about this microphone a lot. This microphone is the beginning of Archie Beats. This microphone is the beginning of my career. It means a lot to me. Although I have an 87, 
this microphone is the start of everything. So I wanna be able to do more demonstrations for you guys with the AT2020, vocal recording, vocal production, just different things like that to show you guys that this is really a great microphone for the price. And like I said, I'll be doing some comparison with my U87. And by the way, have you guys watched my U87 compared to the newer NW800? You guys make sure y'all check that out. It's right here. And the cool thing about this is that it comes in this little packet right here. And um, I just want you guys to, so it comes in this package and it has this already protective mold. I'm gonna keep it in the box. You can see that it comes with a lot of the things that you need. It comes with, of course, the microphone. You need that, the pouch, and it comes with the clip. Whenever you get down with microphones, make sure you guys put them away, put them in a case or put them away in a box, especially if you have a lot of traffic in your home studio or just to protect the microphone so it can last a long time. I always put my microphone away unless I'm working on the exact same project the next day or I have a video that I wanna do and I have everything out on display. So this is cool. And next, the MP1s, the Aventones MP1. These are oversized, huge headphones. And I saw great things about them. So I decided to get it so I could just check it out, man. Um, it's a closed back. They're not too expensive. They're not my Focal Listen Pros, which are like 300 bucks or my um, Sennheiser HD. I think these are like 150, I pay 150 for them. I always make sure you get some decent pair of headphones. You guys know I do have Barrow Dynamics, DT770s, DT990s, and those are pretty decent headphones, especially in the $100, $200 price range. And one thing I like about the Barrow Dynamics DT770s is that they are on sale quite a lot. So um, let's pull these out. And these Aventones right here, what's so cool about these is this case right here. Look at this, y'all. The case, it comes in like a suitcase. <laughs> Look at the drawers on the side. That's cool. That's really cool. And I'm looking at the monitor. If you guys see me looking down, I'm looking at my, uh, my MacBook because I'm looking at everything on there. And they come with a case. Wow, case and extra cables and detachable cables. But you guys are gonna laugh. These are the headphones you had in your reading class when you was growing up. Uh, these are so oversized. Just to show you guys, I'm six foot five, 230 pounds. Look how big these headphones are. They make me look like a baby over here. Golly, whoa. So put those down. And it also has, which is cool, has this little bag with the cables in it, which is really dope. I like this, this is cool, this is really cool. And now the Halo, the Aston, Halo, and this is the shadow action because it's black. The original color is purple, but we had to get the black boy because we dressed in black and you know, you want it to be look cool in your studio. I already have a lot of colorful things like my lights and stuff. So I wanted to try to black out and the purple is really cool, but I don't want it to be too distracting. And then I wanted it to match my prime acoustic London 12s and my Stratus cloud that's in the room. So we had to do that. We had to get black. I'm really excited to see what this thing look like. And I just didn't, I didn't want to do the traditional unboxing, man. I want to do a studio haul for you guys uh, with the gear. All this gear just came in the other day and I just didn't want to traditionally do a bunch of unboxing. I just want to kill, you know, all the birds with one stone so you guys can see exactly how I spend my day when it comes to unboxing and, and how excited I am to see stuff for the first time. And I don't have any keys on me, but. And shout out to Aston, man. Um, I posted them yesterday when I got my shipment in and they liked and they commented and they shared my post and they followed me. So shout out to Aston, man. You guys want me to do anything? Just send it over. I don't have anything knife related. And my brother's around the corner. Jeremy, you got a box cut in there? Okay, give me a box cut of brother. And me and my brother, we started a, um, a cooking show on YouTube. Y'all know y'all see me post my cooking videos, but me and, yeah, yeah, that one right there. That one's cool, that, that one's cool. But yeah, we started a cooking show. Me and my brother, he's actually a certified chef and um, we, we're gonna be filming our videos for that very soon. I keep looking at this doggone viewfinder, man, because I wanna make sure that I'm not looking crazy out here, man. But yeah, we starting that. Um, it's gonna be Boom Boys. Um, kitchen and smoke pit, how, however we decide to end the name, but I'll be posting that stuff. Cause I know a lot of you guys, regardless of what I post on my channel, you guys actually support it. I think my cooking videos are like 20, 30,000, 40,000 views because you guys, sometimes I don't like to just cook in the studio. I like to cook in the kitchen, you know? Oh, wow, this thing is crazy. What the heck? What I see on YouTube is actually an understatement. This is insane. Okay, Aston. Come through, come through. Wow, that's dope. Okay, okay, Aston. I see what you guys doing over here. We got some sound tech. Wow, y'all got a partnership with sound tech? 
Cool. Okay, so here is the Aston, and I'm gonna tell you right now, it feels so much different than my SoundForge in the background over here. Like I said, I have so many generations of the SoundForge. This material that is made out of, okay, okay. Y'all, this is the coolest looking thing, period. Whoa, look at this. Yo, you can't say this ain't sleek, come on. This sleek right here, come on, y'all. And it has a 360, wow. Guys, listen to this. This is me speaking in my Sennheiser um, 112P with the, whoa, yeah, 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 yeah. So we're gonna have to step back, whoa. It really eliminates everything around. Like, I've actually, I've never heard anything like this. And you guys like this idiot over here. But yeah, this is cool. It, it's the um, the Aston Halo, and this is the Shadow Edition. It's black, and it's um, it's freaking awesome already. I'm. I think I'm in love with the acoustics already. And it has a nice emblem at the back, the Aston emblem right there at the back, which is really cool. This is really dope. Whoa, cool, man. So yeah, this is this is it, man. So I bought four items, the microphone, AT2020, the Aston Halo, and the mix phones, MP from Aventone, which are really great, and the uh, Mogami Gold cable. Guys, whenever you want to invest in your studio, please don't be afraid to invest in it. Always invest in your sound, invest in your quality, pay it back. Don't just go out and, and go buy bottles and, and other things. Um, make sure you guys invest in your studio or whatnot. And um, have you guys purchased any new gear lately? Comment below and let your boy know. I just want to check in with you guys with another home studio day in the life. You guys are absolutely awesome. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you guys haven't checked out my Norman U87 versus my $22, my, my $3,600 Norman U87 versus the $22, which is mine as well, the NW800. If you guys haven't seen that video, make sure you watch it right here. And make sure you guys watch my new video with the Jay-Z microphone, which is a really great microphone under $1,000. The Jay-Z um, BH2, the Black Hole microphone, it's a really dope microphone. Make sure y'all check that out right here. You guys are absolutely wonderful. Like I said, you guys are not just my audio and YouTube friends. You guys are my friends. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and like this video and comment the recent gear, recent gear that you guys have purchased and let your boy know, hey, this is your boy Archie Beats and I'm signing off. Archie Beats on the beat. Yeah.